Hey guys, today I am back in my closet and I wanted to share with you guys my favorite products that I own. Now obviously this is a Pokemon investing channel and everything I buy here is with the intention of it going up in value. However, there are some products I buy honestly because I just like the design of the box. And I'm not saying they're bad products whatsoever because all of these are good products, but I mainly bought them because I like the design. And there definitely were some more optimal choices out there at the time where I could have spent money elsewhere. But I still like the design of these boxes and they've done well. But other than that, uh, yeah, just investing at the time uh, when buying some of these products really wasn't in my mind. I just, you know, wanted to have them in my collection. So first here, honestly, I just want to get this one out the way. I'll be honest with you. The reason why these boxes are in here is mainly because I got them for so cheap. These boxes were from GameStop, and I got them when they were like $30 each. And, you know, the promos, it's pretty good. It's a decent promo. It's just all gold. And the box is pretty cool, but the packs in here are very nice as well. It has two of the skies, a Brilliant Stars, Chilling Rain, some Fusion Strike, and some other, like, mediocre packs. But, uh, yeah, I know the older one did have more Evolving Skies in it, but still, this is a very good box, and especially for the price it paid, I had to put this in here. And these are going for around $55, $60 on eBay, so... I definitely could sell them, but I do think there is a higher ceiling for those. Next here, right next to it, is honestly, I think, one of the my favorite modern collection boxes. is the RCSV figure one. And this box is honestly, like, there's really nothing wrong with this box. First of all, the design of the box, I think, is cool. It has nice, like, sparkle bits to it. And the packs and promo and everything combined here is just an amazing thing. We have this promo here, which is basically an alternate art. It has the Arceus here. The Starlies in the background, the Beautifly there, and the Bidoofs. Just overall for a promo, this is really nice. It has two Brilliant Stars, Chilling Rain, and a Cosmic Eclipse. For all for $25. And this was actually on the website for a while. And they sold it, they sold out because I think, honestly, YouTube channels were seeing that. And they I think this the word got out and they just went out of stock. But luckily I was able to get some before they went up in price because I think right now they're at $40, $45. So yeah. So far, you can see I've still done uh, well on all these boxes, even though at the time, um, I mean, investing was kind of in my mind, but it wasn't my like number one priority. Um, but yeah, next, we got more collection boxes. We got the Vap uh, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon boxes. So these ones, I think everyone knows about. So I bought a set of them online for $180, and the rest uh, I found at Walmart. And these ones, honestly, I mean, you can just see the design and why they're so popular. Just the uh, the artwork on these is, uh, again, really nice. It has two Evolving Skies in it, which is a, obviously really good. Chilling Rain, Fusion Strike, and some other, like, bad packs in there. But uh, uh, just the, the card art on these is just pretty much driving the box. And, yeah, the promos are actually pretty expensive, and all these boxes are probably around, like, $70 plus. So, overall, just really good boxes here. And, yeah. So you're probably just going to keep those, like, even though I could sell these at a profit right now and use the money somewhere else, I just want to hold on to them because I don't really have many of those. Next here, we got some older product. So this one I bought on eBay for around, I think, around $180. And this is probably the oldest product I own. And I don't want to sell it because it's in such nice condition. Like, it's basically case fresh. And, yeah, it's just, like, the oldest product I own. And some of the stuff, like I told you, I could sell it at a profit, but... It really wouldn't matter to me because I got it at like a pretty good price. And if I wanted to buy it again, it just I it just wouldn't be worth it. So I just want to hold on to some of the stuff. And this is one of them. And obviously the box is, it's like, it's like all right. But it's just how old it is and just it being like so nicely sealed. It's just one of the things I want to have in my collection. So that's that. And the reason why I didn't put any Elite Trainer boxes in this like whole list of like, I guess my favorite products is because honestly... There's really nothing to look at for the Elite Trainer boxes. They're all just, you know, it's just the front and that's it. There's no cards or packs you can see. I mean, if I honestly were to put some in there, I'd maybe choose the Evolutions one or the Hidden Fates, but there's really nothing to look at. But next here we got what's in these. So these ones have Checkling Blisters, and honestly, Checkling Blisters, in my opinion, are like the best, I guess, single pack uh, product you can buy. Because it's not just a sleeve booster or, you know, a loose pack. And honestly, I feel like those are easier to weigh. I feel like checkling blisters are a little bit harder. Now, these checkling blisters, I feel like, um, I think at the time, I don't think I was thinking at all at investing. I just wanted an older product. But it turns out that this set was very good and they went up in value a lot. That is Team Up. Now, I have 
13 of these. I, I had a sealed um, carton of these when I bought them. It was sealed, and I had to open it just to make sure. Because obviously, on these cartons uh, of the Checkling Blisters, it doesn't have, you know, a label on it. So you have to check, you know, if you buy online, if it actually has what's inside of it. But it turned out I had everything, but I decided to open some at the time. I opened like three of them. I have 13, so I opened three of them. But yeah, still have a good amount. Really happy I bought these because on average, I think I paid like $21 for each. And right now they're like, like 45. So honestly, pretty insane. I was actually kind of thinking about selling these, but I still think they're going to keep going up and just really happy to have those. And yeah, I was very surprised because I didn't know anything about like, I guess how much it was going up in price because I kind of just left them in here. And one day I checked eBay and they like doubled in price. So really nice to have those. Next here, some more checkling blisters uh, in here. We have an XY base. Now, XY base, I honestly have looked on eBay for the price of these, and not really many get posted or listed. So I think this is somewhat rare, but if I were to guess, this would maybe sell for, I don't know, $60, $70. I paid $30 for this, and I only have one. So honestly, things that I really only have one of, I really wouldn't want to sell. So this one is probably one of those, those things I probably won't really sell until maybe a, a, a while from now. Uh, so yeah, just really happy to have some of these things. I wish I would have more. But some of these things were just honestly hard to find. Like this one, if you go on eBay, you, you can't really find them. Next here we got Next Destinies. Now, Next Destinies, these ones is kind of a funny story. So I got, I have two of them. I have a Zorark one and a Bear Tick one back there. You see here. These ones I got from the same seller on eBay. And on the second time I bought it from him, because these were from different um, listings, he actually just sent me his phone number because he actually lives pretty close to me. And he was just saying that I could, you know, we could just like, I guess, sell it like from like, I guess, in-person sales instead of eBay. So to avoid all the shipping and fees. But at the time I had no money, so I couldn't buy any of these or any more than I already did. And I kind of regret it because I honestly now would have bought all of them because I think he had a good amount more. And these ones I feel like were also like from a case, like they were case fresh because all these are in really like pristine condition. So yeah, I really wish I would have bought more, but um, yeah, just didn't have any money at the time. Uh, and you know, lastly, we have more check lane. We have evolutions. These ones, another one, another things that I kind of just bought because they're cheap. I got these I think on average for like twenty three dollars or something like that. But if you go on eBay right now, they're going for around I think forty forty five something like that. And yeah, didn't know these went up that much in value. Same thing with the team up until I just looked one day and yeah, they just really increased in price. Uh, so just happy to have some of these older products, to be honest. And a lot of the older stuff, I don't plan on selling anytime soon uh, because one, I mean, other than those Charizard EX boxes I had before, I don't have that much invested into the older products. So I don't actually really care to, you know, sell them. I just rather keep them for collecting purposes. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the end of this video. I just want to share with you guys my favorite things in here because obviously, some, some stuff I buy just for investing, like booster boxes. I can't even see these because they're in a sealed case. But I wanted to share with you guys some stuff that I actually enjoy having and owning that I probably won't even sell sometime soon. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.